Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to talk today about a question that is so commonly asked, uh, especially when you are either learning your first programming language or just finished learning your first programming, la programming language and are wondering what language to learn next, which is how to learn a programming language. What are the best practices, how to put it into action, and how to most effectively learn a your first or your second uh, programming language. So I'm really excited to share with you all some tips that I've learned uh, when learning a new programming language and different ways to really speed up the process. As always, if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Come say hi to me on Instagram. And if you don't already subscribe, subscribe so we can get to know each other. And you can keep on seeing my videos and you can keep on asking me questions so I can create more videos and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, let's get started. How to learn, how do you learn a new programming language? It's, or your first one, it's very overwhelming and when you first look at the syntax, it can be like, what is this, is this even something I'm supposed to read? Like, this is not normal, this is not English, I don't even know where to start. And um, a lot of times people even ask me, well, how do you even remember all the syntax? Or how do you even know how to put it all together? And there's so many questions about learning a programming language that I really want to break it down for you in a few steps. First thing I do when I am learning a new programming language is read the documentation. I know this sounds so straightforward and so obvious, but when I first was learning my first, when I was learning my first programming language, uh, JavaScript, I didn't read the documentation right away. And I can't believe it's so mind boggling to me that I didn't take time to actually go through and read the documentation, which is there to help you learn. I was like, nah, I'm okay. Let me just go in. Like, what's the documentation gonna really teach me? And I really regret that. Now, always learn a new programming language. Read the documentation first. There's a reason that it's there. There's a reason that it's documented. There are things in the documentation that are so important and will really help break it down for you better to understand. Obviously, different programming languages have different documentation, so some documentation might be better than others, but in general, the first step should always be to read the documentation. Step number two when learning a new programming language would be to take a tutorial. And this is my favorite step. I always get caught up in this step. I feel like I get in like a, a really vicious circle of taking tutorials because I'm like, oh, this is great. You feel like you're really being productive because you're coding something and you're seeing it on screen. Um, and it is a really important step to learning a programming language or learning any kind of new framework or library out there um, with coding. And it doesn't have to be a paid tutorial. It can be, I mean, if you want to do paid, Udemy offers amazing courses and really great sales sometimes. So check out Udemy. There's also free CodeCamp. There's Code Academy, Treehouse, Khan Academy. There's so many places where you can take a tutorial and a lot of them are free. So I do think taking a tutorial is a really great step, especially kind of getting your hands into actually playing and touching around with the syntax and the code and getting a little more familiar with it. The one thing I would say that kind of goes into step number three is after you have taken one, maximum two tutorials, try build something on your own. And this is really important because what a lot of people do, including myself when I first started uh, to learn how to code, was take a tutorial and then take another tutorial and then another one because you just, you kind of get nervous almost to build something on your own. And instead of building something on your own, you want to continue learning. So you do a vicious cycle of taking different tutorials over and over again. And that is a great way to learn, but it's not near as effective um, is if you take one or two tutorials and then apply those tutorials by making something on your own. And that obviously goes into step number three, which is continue to build things on your own. And a really great way to, if you're kind of nervous to start building things on your own, a really great way to kind of get into um, initially building something on your own, especially after you've just learning, learning a new programming language, is to take the tutorial or take part of the tutorial that you've, you've done and have that as your base and then try and apply maybe one or two more features on top of the tutorial and then kind of keep on growing it from there because then it's not as daunting as starting a project from scratch your first time and having, you know, not even knowing where to begin. So I think if you do end up taking one or two tutorials, using those tutorials and just adding different things onto them initially is a great way. And then obviously too, once you've done that, then build your, your own project from, from scratch. Tip number four when you are learning a new programming language would be to go on GitHub and create. Find other people who have built projects with the language that you are learning and see different ways that they have written the syntax, different ways that they have implemented something, whether it's like to-do list or 
a simple kind of, very simple kind of app where you can kind of see the syntax and poke around. You can even clone their repository and get it up on your computer and poke around in the code that way too and kind of change some things and see, kind of investigate a bit more. And I find that's a really great way as well, a final step to really understanding a programming language. I hope these tips helped you when you are going to be taking on learning a new programming language. Honestly, I find learning your first language is the hardest and then from there, you kind of get in the rhythm of things and it just gets easier. Um, that's not to say you won't come across a ton of challenges learning a different language at any stage in your career or your programming uh, life cycle, but the reality is sticking with some of these tips will really help you continue to grow as well while learning your programming language. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, let me know down below what you want to see more of, and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.